biotin, a water-soluble vitamin, also known as vitamin B7 or vitamin H, is usually considered to be pretty innocuous, but research is showing that biotin can regulate genes involved in lowering blood sugar, and a lack of biotin appears to make insulin resistance worse. Also, decades ago, researchers reported that biotin helped lower blood sugar in mice, which is great if you're a mouse, but what about biotin helping lower blood sugar levels in people with diabetes and prediabetes? So we had this interesting study where a combination of biotin and chromium, specifically 2,000 milligrams of biotin and 600 micrograms of chromium picolinate, or a placebo, were given to 447 people with type 2 diabetes. After 90 days, those taking the biotin-chromium combination saw a significant reduction in hemoglobin A1c of at least a half a percent, which is real life significant. Blood sugar levels also declined significantly by about 10 points. Equally interesting in this investigation was that the effects on hemoglobin A1c and blood sugar appeared to be greater in those who started the study with higher levels. In other words, the more worse off they tended to be, the better the biotin-chromium combo appeared to work. People who have type 1 and type 2 diabetes also tend to have elevated bad LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels, which contributes to heart disease. Interestingly, biotin has been shown to reduce both triglycerides and very low-density lipoprotein bad cholesterol levels in people who have type 2 diabetes and in those who have high blood sugar but do not yet have diabetes. Complicating things, however, is that these researchers also reported that biotin did not reduce blood glucose levels, insulin, or cholesterol levels, so a bit of a mixed bag in this investigation. Now, if you want to go the natural route, biotin is found in a variety of foods, the highest of which would be beef liver and eggs. Although, as you can see from this table, biotin can be found in a variety of foods ranging from sweet potatoes to walnuts. You will notice that I've mentioned cooked eggs in this table, and that's because raw egg whites contain a protein called avidin, which can bind up biotin and make it not able to be absorbed, which can lead to biotin deficiency. This is rare, however, it is something to think about if you're eating or drinking a lot of raw eggs. So, biotin is generally considered safe, but there are a few things to consider if you're going to take biotin supplements. For one thing, keep in mind that if you smoke, smoking does reduce biotin levels, and biotin might interfere with a variety of laboratory tests, such as making it look like you have elevated vitamin D levels when you really don't, High biotin levels might also make it seem like you have low HGH growth hormone when you really don't as well. And biotin might also interfere with PSA tests, making it seem like your PSA levels are lower than they really are. And if you get a thyroid blood test, biotin might also make it look like you have low TSH levels when you in fact don't. Bottom line, if you have blood tests, consider stopping biotin supplements for several days before your test or tell your doctor you're taking biotin supplements. So, do you take biotin supplements? What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.